I've been blowing glass for about 16 years. I have been glass blowing for 20 years. Probably about eight years. I think people should care about glass blowing because uh, it uh, plays a, a fundamental role in uh, art history and in society itself. And um, it's a very uh, it's a very ancient form of art, and um, it, has, it just has a lot of re relevance. Uh, I'm Suzanne Tipton. I go by the moniker of Cool Hand Suze, and I work for Revere Glass right now. Glass blowing is one of the fine arts that has been around for eons. Um, without glass blowing in the past, we wouldn't have a whole lot of things w that we use daily now. Yeah, my name is Joe Kaminsky, and I work at Revere Glass. It's ancient, it goes back thousands of years, and um, we've learned a lot of things from people in the past, and like our forefathers, and uh, I think people should look into that. The amount of dedication that goes into becoming a really good glass blower. Um, you really have to spend time and put a lot of effort in to get out a product that's beautiful. You can you think that you can just start without really trying and you know you get to it and you spend a lot of time making garbage and then eventually you make something that's really awesome. <laughs> in society uh, people use glass in all kinds of different ways and it plays a big role um, in the way people live their lives from the cars you drive to the things you cook in in the kitchen to um, enjoying art. When it comes to artistic glass, they haven't been able to make a machine that can do what I can do. And I don't know if they ever will. I mean, if they do, I'll be pretty surprised. I have worked in the scientific glass industry and they have some machines that are called auto lathes that do some glass blowing, but they don't actually make anything artistic. So, you know, unless they can make an artificial intelligence that can have a soul. I don't think that glass blowing is going to be taken over by machines anytime soon. When I first started glass blowing, I kept a regular job. I worked at a bunch of different things like a restaurant and a deli and a grocery store to support my glass habit until I was able to support myself by blowing glass. I, I never really appreciate anything I make because I never feel it's good enough, so I'm always trying to make it better. I mostly make pipes these days because they are lucrative. Um, I spent some time making scientific apparatus for chemists and physicists, and that was also lucrative, but not as much fun as being creative and making pipes. I'm gonna be old and blind and 80 years old still operating a lathe. <laughs> What I do is I make uh, glass couture, which is a form of glass necklaces blown and sculpted. You'll see s some of the work behind me here. When I first started, I think I burned myself, you know, once or twice every day. Now I probably burn myself once or twice a week. I'm accident prone. I cut myself and burn myself all the time. And sometimes they're really bad, so you have to be careful. Uh, you can start to lose your eyesight if you don't wear proper protection on your eyes and uh, you know there's flammable gases so you need to watch out for those and make sure you use them properly. You can spend um, a little about amount of money on studying how to make glass or you can spend a lot. Depends on 
you know, your own personal budget. Um, me personally, I've been doing this so long that um, I'm able to just put back into my business uh, pretty much what I make, um, so it keeps it going. I think money is an issue for everybody. I don't think that it matters what skills you have or what, what job you choose, especially if you're a creative person. If you're going to choose a creative field, you're going to struggle at some point. But, you know, it's a matter of dedication again. If you put in the time and make a whole lot of stuff, you'll sell it eventually. Money is always an issue for an artist. Um, you know, it's basically just keeping the bills paid and trying to keep the work um, uh, out there and on display and being sold. It's a challenge. Oh, well, I'm terrible with money, but uh hasn't really been an issue. I get by like everybody else. I started doing it just out of a love for art. I'm a bomb